Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mackenzie if you guys are new and today I am starting another week in my life vlog. I am about to leave for a baseball game but Madison and I wanted to share our outfits with you real quick. For those of you who are new, this is my twin sister Madison. Obviously we do not look alike so no we are not identical. Um, I am going to take you guys over here and share my outfit and then I'm going to share Madison's with you. Um, it is like so hot out right now but I, like I said I am going to watch Ethan's baseball game and um it's like there's a chance of thunderstorms so i don't want to risk it like i don't want to wear shorts and i'm sure the seat will be wet so i'm wearing star earrings from shein this little star necklace from madison b jewelry this black cami bodysuit from express that like i've worn a hundred times um now it's a thong style you can tuck it into jeans and it snaps at the bottom so it's easy to go to the bathroom my star belt is from shein and then these are my favorite jeans they're madison's and they're like a raw hem and then my star anklet is from shein and i'm gonna throw on these little black sandals Madison is entirely in my outfit today she is wearing a one piece from ami club wear her high-waisted shorts are from Express. And did you put the sunglasses back? No, I'm not taking them. Oh. So, yeah, that's Madison's little look. She's about to go on a boat with her boyfriend. So, yeah, it's Hi. currently 4 o'clock. We are just now checking in, but we haven't done anything worthwhile today. So, we're about to go make separate plans. But, yeah, catch you guys then. Just got to the field, and I don't see Miss Wensloff here yet. Um... So I'm walking in by myself, but that's all right. I'm really excited. Um, haven't seen Ethan play in a week now, so I feel deprived. The left fielder from UNBC, number 27, Ethan Lenslaw. Let's go, E! Hey guys, so I have not updated throughout the game at all, but the first game we ended up winning 9-3. to Ethan got an awesome single, um, and he hasn't been hitting well, and he got a single, and of course I missed it. It was like the one at that I didn't film. Um, but anyways, that was awesome. It was really good to see him get a hit. We ended up winning that game. They took like a 20-minute break, and now we're playing game number two. It's currently top of the fifth inning, and we are losing one to four so i think that we can make a comeback ethan's actually not playing this game but i stayed to watch everyone else and yeah so that's what's happening miss wenslock just left but i talked to her for like three hours so it felt super good yesterday was her surprise party and we got to like catch up we haven't seen each other in like a week which is like a really long time for us so we got to do that. Um, there's literally like no one around me today. And usually when I vlog out here, everyone looks at me and the only people that have looked at me so far are the players. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'm about to move down. Like right now I'm sitting at the top against the thing, but I'm gonna move down lower so I can get a good view and hopefully get a couple of hits on camera because I need some footage for today. It's my eighth inning check-in. See my hair is getting bigger by the second. That's how humid it is. We're still down one to seven. And we now have a full count. I guess I'll turn this around so that you can see. Walk. Yeah. All right. Didn't work out for us. Bottom of the ninth. We ended up losing three to seven. So one one lost one for the day. But you know what? It's better than two losses. So I'm headed home. I'm not gonna pull out the vlog camera the rest of the day. 
I'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning, which is Monday. What is up, you guys? I left off at baseball yesterday, and it's currently 12.30 on Monday morning, and I'm just chilling. I made my bed, and I just put on some clothes. I'm wearing an all-white workout set from Buff Bunny. Um, that's super cute just because it's only like 70 degrees outside today, and it is pouring like it's been pouring all day um super wet outside so the game that we had scheduled for today was actually a um makeup game from another time that it rained and now we're gonna have to make it up again which kind of stinks but because it's raining i figured i would just hang out and chill at home um madison's nannying today so like i pretty much am just you know hanging out not much to do um, I just uploaded a YouTube video today, which is a swimwear haul with AMI Clubwear, which is um, one of my favorite swimsuit brands. So I shared six bathing suits with them. I just got that um, video up, and now I'm going to do the coordinating blog post with it, but I'm actually waiting for my computer to charge up a little bit. And I think today I... Like, didn't make one of my long to-do lists today because, honestly, like, I just, I don't have tons to do. I kind of just want to chill out. I'm going to spend some time on Instagram. I only spent, like, 10 minutes to post my picture yesterday. I need to catch up on all of my engagement pods and do some stories, things like that. Respond to a couple of emails, and I'm hoping that the mailman brings me some good packages today. I also am going to do my planner today because I didn't do it yesterday. But it's going to be a pretty chill day around here. I'm not really stressing out about anything. I kind of just want to take it easy. I'm really bummed that my game got canceled though. But you know what? What are we going to do about it? So I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some of your questions. And whenever I like post anything asking for questions, I usually get like no responses. Um, and I've only gotten three. Like 90 people have viewed it and I got three responses, which like I expected. Um, but I'm going to answer a couple of the questions now. And then maybe I'll check back in later if I get more. But I figured I would do it while I'm downstairs because one of the questions is kind of like related to being in my basement, I guess. Um, so Caroline asked, what are you looking for? forward to most about college and what I'm most excited about is to have friends um in high school I had great friends but I was always friends with someone that was older than me so it made it really hard every year when um my friends graduated and this past senior year was especially difficult I guess um, and a majority of my friends were just guys from the baseball team and don't get me wrong I love those boys more than anything I would do absolutely anything for them um, and they have been there for me through and through but um, there are times where I really miss having girlfriends so I am excited to be friends with females in college um, not that I don't make friends with females now, but um, I really tend to gravitate more towards guys just because they're easier to be around and because it's convenient because I have been a cheerleader and I've been friends with football players and baseball players um, over the last couple of years. So I'm really excited to have some friends that are girls again. And I am excited to just really dive in to, I don't wanna say like my career, but just like studying what I really want to study. Um, and I do plan on being on the fashion magazine at Kent State. So that um, is gonna be super exciting. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, I will be a freshman in the fall. I'm studying fashion merchandising and journalism with either a minor in business or entrepreneurship. And um, I'll be going to Kent State University. I don't know if I said that or not. Someone else asked, Mara asked, what are you going to miss most about home when you leave for college? I think that I'll probably miss my sister the most. For those of you who do not know, I actually am a twin and that has made my senior year really easy like in not having um, a ton of girlfriends that are like super reliable is that I've had a twin sister. So I have like a built-in best friend and I have had one my whole entire life. So it's like even if I don't have a like best friend that's just a friend, I have a best friend that's a sister. So I think that being in a new environment will be really weird without her. We've never really done a whole lot by ourselves. Um, we've grown up together obviously. And I think that that will be really difficult. Obviously I'll miss my family and I will miss all of the families that baseball has really brought me close to. So that and I will miss having my own space. I'm a very, very independent person. Like I am such an extrovert, but um, I'm very independent extrovert, I guess. And um, I really enjoy my space because it's kind of like valuable, I guess, to me in a working sense. Um, I have obviously tons of clothes, my tripod, my ring light, like things like that, that I just, 
I'm like, ugh, it's gonna be like bombarding someone else's space. So I guess like that's one thing that I'm kind of like going to miss when I leave for school is just having my own place. Um, and then Natalia asked, how are you going to decorate your dorm? Can't wait to meet you at school. Well, first off, it's super cool that you follow me and that we're going to go to school together. So I can't wait to meet you too. And how are you going to decorate your dorm? So my roommate Emma and I are going for a gray and light pink theme. Um, our comforter is actually white with white tassels on it. And then we are getting like gray and blush, um, throw pillows and my headboard is gray i'm actually in our basement right now which is like where all of our dorm stuff is currently like being housed um i have like this little pink furry thing to go over my um chair over the chair well maybe things are in the storage room hold on I have a couple of pillows that are pink. I have a white pillow and then I got a gold crown pillow because um, I call my baseball boys kings of spring and I've always been their queen of spring. So I really wanted to take a piece of me with them. So I got a crown pillow. Then I have a girl power pillow that the pillow isn't in yet. It's just the case and a bunch of other stuff. So if you guys want to see not really like a dorm shop with me because I really have been ordering more stuff rather than like going out and like to get it you know like we haven't really gone out and got everything all at once I've kind of just been picking things up here and there so if you guys want to see like a vlog style dorm shopping dorm like what I have so far let me know and I'd be happy to do that but yeah so we're going for that gray and blush theme and with probably gold accents so I wanted to show you guys my planner this week this was last week's spread if you missed it um and you guys know that I'm trying to go for the colorful month Basically, this is what the week looks like once it's filled in, but the week looks pretty sparse before um, the week actually happens. So this will eventually all become filled in. And this week I just went for an orange. It's summertime washi tape. I'm not exactly sure what I'm posting on the blog yet each day, but I put in, I have three Legion games this week. I was supposed to have one today, but it got rained out, so it's gonna get rescheduled. And then I have one Wednesday and Friday. Ethan plays a bunch this week. I'm working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and I have a lot of blog things to get done. So I kind of just wrote that down. Everything looks pretty sparse right now, like I said, because it will get filled in as the week goes on. But I just like have not been feeling like using a ton of stickers just because I don't really know like what to fill in yet because I'm not exactly sure where each day is going to lead me. So my plan has been pretty boring, but once the week is over, it will be like nice and pretty like one of these. You guys, I feel like I have literally done nothing all day. And it's just because I really haven't had that much work to do in, like, days where I don't have baseball. Um, or, I, like, I'm not going into work. Usually, I use as, like, a work day for the blog. But I just, like, haven't really had anything to do. Like, I, I didn't take any photos um, yesterday on Sunday, which is like what I usually do on Sunday. So I have nothing to edit. It's like, I don't know when I'm putting on the blog, so I can't even get a head start on writing. I'm kind of just waiting for the sun to come out tomorrow and then seeing what happens. But I'm binge watching H2O, if you guys didn't know, like H2O, the mermaid show that used to be on Teen Nick. And I got kind of sick of it. Like, I like watching it, but it's kind of like a kitty show, you know, so it kind of loses its purpose after a little bit. So I just switched to one of Emma's, um, Emma McDonald's vlogs. So I'm watching that. I'm sitting on the ground because my computer keeps running out of battery because I'll charge it up to 100 and then I'll sit on it and lose all its battery and then have to charge it again because that's what I do when I do nothing in a day, guys. But that's like the reality of being a teenager is like some days I am go, go, go and other days I literally like do not move. So yeah, it's six o'clock. I hope that we're eating dinner soon because I'm starving. I had tater tots for lunch because we like don't have any leftovers in the house. So there was nothing really to eat. So yeah, I wish I had something more exciting for you guys, but this is really what it's been today. Good morning, everyone. It is now Tuesday. Yesterday was super chill day. And today's looking like the same thing, except um, I made a list today and it's sunny outside today. So far, I made my bed, I showered, I did my hair and makeup. Um, I picked a bunch of weeds for my dad. Um, I ordered a couple of glasses for a blog post and um, I took something out for my mom. And now I am in a bikini. I am wearing a little yellow and white polka dot bikini from Express. 
regular express, not express factory, and I am headed outside to sit in the sun while I eat lunch, um, do a college checklist of like everything that I have so far and everything that I still need to get, um, and start my summer reading, and then I'm going to engage on Instagram, but it's like so nice outside and it's not super hot yet that I was like, you know what, I'll put on a bikini and I'll go sit outside and get some color while I'm at it. So that's what I'm headed to do. Pretty chill day. Um, Ethan's game from last night is being made up tonight, but it's going to be at home instead of away. So I think I might go to that just because I don't have any other plans for today. And my game from yesterday um, hasn't been rescheduled yet. So that's what today's plans are, but I'll catch you guys later. I am calling it quits out here for the day. It is about 3.30. I've been sitting outside for like three, three and a half hours now. Um, and it is hot and the UV is no longer 10, it's only six. So I'm headed inside. I did a lot of engaging and I started my summer reading book. I have two summer reading books um, that I need to do. And the first one is This We Know. Um, and they're both about the Kent State shooting. So I started this about halfway through. Um, and I went through the list of dorm things. Um, I actually just went on Dormify and printed out like the list that they had and went through and checked the whole thing off, like things that I had. I basically have all of my bedding and some things to make it homey, cleaning supplies, first aid, but like there's still a lot I need. So I went through and kind of wrote down some stuff that I need to pick up within the next couple of weeks and yeah. I am headed upstairs. I need to iron three dresses when Madison gets home from nannying. Um, she's going to help me shoot three looks. I'm going to upload them to the blog. Um, and then I found out that I have hitting practice today for the baseball team. And then probably from practice, I'm probably going to go to the game. Hey, keep the music down. What's shaking, vlog? We're at practice right, now. You Aiden, you haven't been introduced to the vlog before. Uh -huh. You have to say your name, what grade you're in. Uh, I'm Ian Reynolds, class of 2020. And then, uh, and then you have to say your favorite thing about me. Right. Your favorite thing about you. Probably your outfits you wear. Oh, yellow. you know, that's original. No in one said that in before. In the spring season, the yellow fits. The yellow fits? The yellow fits. Cooper? Hey, watch, watch, watch me in the tank real quick. How was your day, Coop? It was good. I haven't done much today. Uh, actually, I was, I was um, hanging out with one of my friends who was leaving for India. Who? For Mark? Um, Mark Melvin. Oh my god! That's cool. Yeah. Um, no, just for a month. He's a goofy. Are you gonna miss me in a week? We're not gonna see each other. Oh yeah, that's gonna suck. I don't know if I'm gonna be playing many games, but yeah. I know. It's gonna suck. I know. Okay, next. Next. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. Hello. How was your day today? Grounded. <laughs> okay, sup everyone. He's gonna throw it soft, but soft but overhead. Is this a zoom button? That was a good one. See a ball. Give me some pointers, guys. Me? I'm. I can only do one thing at a time. You're really late. And earlier. Come on, That was a good one. Look, it is Mackenzie throwing batting practice. And Cooper's hitting ding dong. Danny, put your pants on. You're right. Ew. Oh, no one wants to see that, Danny. Cooper's hitting ding dongs over here. Cam is Mackenzie's next victim. In love with my bitch because she buy. I'm not picking these up though. That's what she's really throwing to you. I'm sweating my ass off. Not too high. Oh, you got a case of swamp ass, Danny. Ah. Nah, Mackenzie does though. Danny's got a case of swamp ass. Cooper, that's cool. Oh, there's a storm of brewing. What did you think of me throwing batting practice? It's pretty good actually. Pretty good? Just a little bit too much rapid fire, but otherwise. Not. How fast do you think I was throwing? 25 miles an hour. <laughs> Danny, did, hold on, pause. What would you ra what would you rate me? Out of what? <laughs> Ten. Nine. Nine. Good answer, Cooper. What do you think of me throwing batting practice now that you just hit me in the foot? I'd say the exact same, except the tempo was a little fast. Thank you. My tempo was a little fast. Yeah, was How fast do you think I was throwing the ball? We're kind of going. How fast do you think I was throwing the ball? Throwing the fast, like 
110 maybe? Okay, good answer. Guys, I am so exhausted after practice. Uh, I like never throw to anyone and of course today everyone needed it and there weren't that many players there so that's why I had to help out. Um, I'm at the field, a different field now, um, hoping that Ethan plays tonight because if not, then I drove here just cause. But it's okay, cause I'll get to see everyone else play if he's not, but fingers crossed. Get there. What's up everyone? This game has not been good so far. It's, it's currently top of the seventh and we are down two nothing. It's not looking so good, but I'm confident and it's going kind of fast. It's, it's only 8.30, so. Even if we lose, we'll be home early, which is good because I have to film a live video for a company on Facebook when I get home. So that's what I'm going to do. Now for the Giants, the birthday boy, number 21, Tommy Kreider. Come on, Tommy! They're all good. Another hottie up at bat. <laughs> Come on, Tommy. Okay, everyone. It's bottom of the tenth. We're still tied. We have someone on first and third and one out. Harris is up to bat, and we're hoping for something good. Fake it till you make it, man. You have to vlog. Just lost by one, guys. Bottom of the eleventh. One and good morning. It is now Wednesday, and I have a busy, busy day ahead of me I am working 11 to 4 and then I'm headed straight to a baseball field we're playing away today and we have a double header we're finishing a game that got rained out and then we are making up another game so it should be a late night I probably won't get home until like 10 30 and I'm ready to start the day I guess I'm here with our pitcher of the day everyone we're back from work hey Connor we're vlogging. Connor's camera shy. I'm not camera shy. He's Mackenzie shy. Hey guys, it's Mark. I just graduated high school. Okay, what are, you, what are your future plans? No um, I'm planning to go into business. Maybe. Um, oh, at Montgomery College. Okay, and what's your favorite thing about me? About you? Your fashion. Thanks. Everyone's answer comes so quick. Update vlog. Didn't vlog the entire game, clearly, but we did win. Four to three, Connor had two doubles, so that was good. Um, and we were supposed to have a double header, but this team only had eight players, so they had to forfeit the second game, so we won both games, technically, which is good. So we're headed out now. I didn't even sit in the dugout, I sat with this girl instead. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hey guys, so after yesterday's game, I actually went to Cold Stone with Connor and his fam and then um, just headed home, had a chill night and it is now Thursday morning and I am at work and I kinda just wanna show you guys around some of the cute things in here, so. Hi, okay, follow me. <laughs> Betty, Betty's creation. <laughs> See my lovely ice dyed pants? Ice dyed They're pants. We have inspirational magnets, my workspace, art journals, handcrafted journals, handmade art, original artwork on earrings, handcrafted pens made by my brother, um, and we have ice dyed clothing in here which is very popular. So we have lots of that. What's your favorite style? I love these festival tops. I like that because it's um, it's smocked at the top. Yeah. So you don't have to wear a bra with it. <laughs> no, you don't. It's, I love that. And what's also good are my hoodies, particularly this way. for a beach cover-up. Ooh, cute. They're very lightweight. So they're very popular. Okay. We got and, leggings over here. Yeah, we have leggings. We have um, some harem pants. pants. Well, not yeah. And we have these dresses are very popular. Um, they're called a Gatsby dress. It's a nice dancing dress. 
I don't know if it's for young people, but anyway, it works. We got some scarves over here. Yeah. Some dish towels. Yeah, here are the dish towels. Ice dye dish towels, flower sack, very popular. With um, make good housewarming gifts. And what's your favorite piece of artwork that's on the wall? Over there. This is her prized possession, everyone. The muse. The muse, acrylic on canvas, $1,400, and it's yours. Not everything is that expensive. Here are the journals. She gifted me one as my graduation gift, if you guys remember. Yeah. I talked about it. Oh, you did? I did. Oh, nice. Because it was a meaningful gift because you remembered that I journal every day. Yes. Okay. And that's, that's, that's all. my world. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the tour. <laughs> okay, this was my project yesterday. We're in the middle of redoing things, and yesterday I had to redo the dress room, so... We've got all sorts of dresses, cocktail dresses, regular dresses, going on a date dresses, all from size zero to four X. After what felt like the longest day ever, we are headed now to Bed Bath & Beyond. We are going to be getting pretty much everything else that we need for our dorm, or at least trying to get as much as possible because what's the sale? Everything's 20% off. It's the college event. It's the college event. Everything's 20% off. You to register for If you college. register for these few hours. So far, the, the shopping process has been stressful. The only thing that I have in my cart is a Brita. And I'm getting this one. <laughs> the new Brita stream. It's like really skinny. I'm just making sure Emma doesn't have it. For those of you who are new, my roommate is Emma. And Madison's getting these. I have these at home and they're the spring loaded drawer dividers. Last set days. of two. Mom won't That's let me get any more because she tells me that I should bring my ones from home to school but I really like them they're really good and that's how I separate my workout wear at home yeah, yeah. and my shorts and jeans all right everyone if you are if you've been in college before and you didn't sh like you shared a bathroom like kind of like sweet style Jack and Jill let us know below what you did did you all use shower caddies did all four people leave their shampoo in the um, shower like did you take it in and out of the shower can someone let us know because we're kind of trying to decide like what we should do how's your dorm room shopping experience so far great <laughs> super overwhelming stressful super overwhelming here comes madison with some drawers for under the sink get that our cart's looking mighty full we just ordered my shoe rack and now we're rolling out we checked out we saved because it looks better we, how much money did we save? Seventy dollars and seventy-eight cents. Bed Bath and Beyond is the place to be, everyone. We have made it to our second stop of the day. We're at Target, and we are here to get plastic drawers for me and soap dishes, stuff like that. Okay, I'm trying to decide between like a little square because this is where I'm gonna keep my um, like camera equipment and stuff is in one of these that way it's kind of hidden i just texted emma and we're trying to decide between gray and blush i kind of like the blush one better so i'm hoping that she says that just because i don't want all the grays to be different colors but it's kind of tricky like having to go back and forth with your roommate over text and be like okay does this look okay because you don't really know what's gonna match so i'm gonna put these up and then go get the drawers we've got another full cart situation Okay, we've got a packed car because we were successful in the dorm room shopping. Um, I will show you guys what we got in a separate video. Morning, everyone. It is now Friday morning and I am in the drive-thru at Dunkin' ready to get a bagel before I go babysit. Hi, can I get a blueberry bagel with cream cheese, please? Yep. Thank you. you don't have blueberry bagel. What? You don't make blueberry bagel here. Oh, um. You have everything, uh, sesame, cinnamon, plain. I'll just do plain. Then bagel cream cheese? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Come, oh, thank you. No blueberry. I used to always get blueberry here. That's so rigged. I'm paying with quarters, guys, because I'm like poor, but I really wanted a bagel. So hopefully this woman doesn't kill me because they hate when you do that. But you know what? Money's money. So I just went and got gas and then I'm headed to babysit. I'm babysitting 10 to noon 
and then I am working 1.30 to 4.30 and then driving straight to my baseball game, um, which is about 25 minutes away. So hopefully work is not as slow as it was yesterday. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yep. Thank you. I am in CVS because I need a new foundation and um, like everything that I wear is like way, way, way light for me. So I'm picking something up. I'm going to the beach. So I'm assuming I'm going to get some color. So I think I'm going to get something pretty dark. I usually go with 322 warm honey when I'm tan. This is like so expensive. 850 for Maybelline is like ridiculous. But I'm going to go see if they have the wet and wild one that I like. Okay, I think I'm going to get this one. But Coco, am I going to be that dark? That one's like really orange. We don't want that one. Okay. Seriously, nothing bothers me more than going into CVS and buying something when I don't have like extra bucks, a coupon, rewards, something. But like I needed foundation so badly because the foundation that I'm wearing now is like eight times lighter than my actual face. And I'm about to go to the beach for another few days so it's like i needed something darker i got this one i love the wet and wild photo focus and i like the maybelline um fit me foundation those are my two favorite drugstore foundations and i go like back and forth between them i decided to get the wet and wild one today because it was cheaper and i'm a broke about to be college student i got the shade caramel which obviously looks like way too dark for me now but i'm not really concerned about it because i know it will match hey everyone we're not at work anymore done babysitting i'm done working and i'm at the baseball field we are like playing at a different location i've never actually been to this field before um, hey cooper <laughs> um so yeah we're playing sandy spring today we have a 5 30 start and it's currently 5 18 so we've got 10 more minutes um cam are you pitching today yes cam is warming up in the bullpen this makeshift bullpen and yeah so it should be an interesting game. I want everyone to look away and say hi at once. Everybody say hi at once. Oh, they just... <laughs> it's go time, everyone. Say hey, Mark. <laughs> hey, guys. Mav's back with us. Mav, tell the viewers. Oh, what? We look like one big happy family. We each other. Over. Cooper's gonna get a hit. Already hit a triple today. Always. He's error. got ten dollars on the line. Error. Error. Yo. That was an error. Well, Danny, hit his glove. But he still got a triple. Uh, and ten dollars. So whatever. Care. It is just to see. He's obviously following the school's baseball team. He's going to. And there you were. Nope. Shouldn't have filmed. Oh, he dropped it. Yeah. yeah. I knew I'd get that. Hey, get on the base. Yeah. Get on the base. Get on the base. Jesus Christ. Feeling kind of bummed. We just lost this game by two and we needed to win it. So now we have to win both games tomorrow. Watching the fireworks with my middle school people. Best seat in the house. So I am home from the fireworks and the mailman brought a few things while I was at work today that I kind of just wanted to share. Um, I ordered two bathing suits from Shopo because I've been getting a lot of questions on my stories and stuff to try out their swimwear. So because I'm headed to the beach, I was like, you know what, I'll give their swimwear a go. I got these really cute, they're like a, almost like a champagne um, color bottoms. They don't look super cheeky, but they look like a really good size. And then this top, their suits do not have padding in them, which I didn't know. So like, I'm kind of hoping that this white isn't see-through. It's just like a tie tube. And then the bottoms are high-waisted. They look like super small bottoms. Um, like not super cheeky, but they look like super narrow so i'm about to try those on and see what they're like and then i actually took a deal with dormco and if you've never heard of dormco they're just like a dorm room company um and they have bedding sheets um trunks like shoe organizers like basically everything that you would need and i'm going to be working with them i'm doing three videos a week for them over on their youtube channel so my first one will be up next week tomorrow i have to film 
with my new comforter i got the natural loft ultimate comforter the oversized twin in the shade alloy and i have yet to feel oh it's super soft my comforter right now is like disgusting this is years old it's like four years old from four years it's like six years old from urban outfitters and it's literally disgusting like there's pen all over it it's super dirty because like i never really wash it i wash it like every now and then um but it gets like all crinkly and gross and i already have my bedding for college and I'll, I'll show that in my dorm room hall but they wanted something that i was able to showcase in my actual house like before i move into college so i got a new comforter and then this is the duvet to go inside but I'm not going to take it out because that's going to be a part of the video that I film tomorrow. So I have to go study up and make sure that I know what to talk about for that video. It's 11 o'clock. I was supposed to refilm this Shein haul with Madison today because we filmed it yesterday and the whole entire video is out of focus. So we were going to refilm it tonight, but it's 11 o'clock and she's still not home. So I'm hopefully going to film it tomorrow morning before I have to leave. I have to leave the house. I need to be at the field at 1230. So I'm hoping that she'll be up and moving. Um, I can film that video and get that up. This is now my third day that I went without posting a blog post and I feel so guilty because I wanted to blog every single day in the month of July but like I just don't have any photos taken like I I just like I feel so stressed out guys and like that's like such a crappy feeling to have is like I feel really behind and I feel like I'm letting you guys down and like I know I'm not because no one expects me to be able to post for 70 days straight but it like feels a little disappointing to myself I guess like when I set these like really far out their goals and then I don't meet up to them so maybe I need to be making better goals I need to be making those smart goals you know um, smart measurable attainable reachable something like that you know what I mean that acronym so yeah anyways I really need to grind it out. I'm hoping to get that Shein post up tomorrow. Sunday, I need to post my weekly wrap up and edit this vlog, which I haven't even started editing. So it's going to take me forever. Not to mention, I don't really know if I'll have service at the beach. And then um, next week, I have 30 items to shoot while I'm at the beach. Um, 15 swimsuits and 15 clothing items. So pretty much, I'm just going to be shooting one day and then uploading the very next day. So hopefully it all works out because if not, I'm going to be out of luck for content but i'm gonna stop worrying the fireworks were super fun i was really glad i got to see chase because i haven't seen him in a few days and now i am headed to take a shower and go to bed because i've got a long day ahead of me again good morning y'all i just finished filming two videos madison and i were able to refilm that she and haul so i have that footage downloading now and then i just filmed my video for dorm co like i said yesterday um i'm gonna start working for them three times a week doing videos and the first thing that they gave me is actually a comforter guys and this thing is so nice i was not expecting to like it this much um it's just like a light gray and it's super, super soft. The comforter inside is down. Well, it's like a duvet. What's inside is like down and um, super cute. The only thing is like I don't like how all, like I hate this bed skirt with it now um, because with the other shady gray comforter that I used to have on, it like looked fine, but now I want a new bed skirt, but whatever. Um, my bed looks so comfy. Like I'm so excited to sleep tonight. I put fresh sheets on so that hopefully it will be super, super soft. Hey everyone, just rolled up to the field. It's a really, really big day for us. Like I said, we have to win both of these games to secure the number one seed because we did lose last night. Um, and I'm hoping that this is not the last time I see these guys play because um, if we are the number one seed, we play on Wednesday. And if we um, are the number two, we play on Tuesday. Um, but I don't get back from the beach until Wednesday night. So I'm hoping that they do well today and that they do well on whatever day, Tuesday or Wednesday, that they play because I would be devastated if this is the last day I see them play. But just in case, I brought out my high school yellow. Um, you guys know I wear yellow every single day for my high school season. Um, but our colors for this summer team are red, white, and blue. So I try to dress in red, white, and blue. But I was like, you know what? If this was my last time ever with my baseball boys, I would want to be in yellow. So. I have a feeling someone's going to comment on it right away when I get down though. They'll be like, oh my god, Mackenzie's in yellow today. So anyways, I'm super excited. I'm nervous. Um, but I'm happy for them. And I've had such a good summer season. Like last year I wasn't here as much because I was traveling for three weeks out of our season. Um, but this year I've gotten to be around everyone and I've only missed a few games. And they all hold such a, such a special place in my heart. So yeah. 
The queen has arrived at her palace. It looks like Sandy Spring, the same team we played yesterday, we're playing today. Um, it looks like they are taking IO right now while our guys are kind of just warming up in the field. Update, top of fifth, we're winning by one. Hey guys, my people are here. Hi Mackenzie's What's followers. Up, Hi, Say hey to the vlog. Well, we just lost guys, so there's a good chance that was my last drag of the field ever. Oh, hello! I'm Dog, I'm dog here. She racks. What are you doing in town? You have to tell them. I'm visiting because I had to give you your graduation gift. He did. I'll show you guys the gift when I get upstairs because it's really cool. It was pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We're headed out to dinner now. We're going to our favorite place that we only go to when... When I'm in town. When he's in town. That's right. Yeah. Say hey to Max. Max. Well, here's your weekly clip of saying hey to the vlog. Hello, vlog. <laughs> and then... Hello, vlog. <laughs> every week... By week six, he'll get it right. Show us what, <laughs> tell us what you're wearing today. Give us the I'm details. I'm wearing uh, Nike. Nike top. Nike top. N Nike, Nike hat. Nike hat. Nike hat and um, Short. Eddie Bauer shorts. Are those your favorite kind? Oh, absolutely. What makes nice them? And cool. What makes Dry them the best? Fit. Dry fit, yeah. so you don't sweat. Your butt doesn't sweat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oops, yeah, I no have cotton on. Swamp, swamp ass. No swamp ass. I can't beat that out. Hi. Hi. She didn't say hi. Say hi, Colton. My backside. Say hi. It's okay. Okay, guys. Today I got the chicken teriyaki sandwich, and I add cheddar cheese, and everyone laughs, but that's what makes it so good. And that pineapple looks mm, tasty. Okay, so we enjoyed some dinner together, and then we came home i headed over to my second fam's real quick just to say hey for about an hour and grab a book i just came home showered put on my pajamas because we are leaving like i said for the outer banks tonight um in about half an hour so i just showered and put my jammies on because we won't get there until like two in the morning guys it's actually crazy how pale my face is compared to my legs and it's because i am like really really good about putting spf on my face but like not the rest of my body so I look really scary right now. But anyways, I've got my pajamas on, and that's going to be all for this week's Week in My Life. I will catch you guys in North Carolina for my next Week in My Life. And yeah, thanks guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you then. Bye!